Hey guys, welcome to Grayson's five-year-old update. So it's almost a month later. Hello my kids, I am Grayson and I am five and mom's gonna talk about my questions. Yes, so it's about a month after Grayson turned five, but okay, yes. we're gonna do this update video and ever since he turned I think three, I've been asking him these like interview questions and so I thought it'd be fun to ask him the same questions again and see if his answers have changed and what his five-year-old self is going to tell us about and then after the interview i'll tell you a little bit about grayson and how he's doing so let me find the questions okay i found the exact questions that i used last year okay are you ready oh yeah okay first question how old are you five five grayson is five what did we do for your birthday well the candles we blew out the candles. What kind of birthday party theme did we do? PJ Masks. We did a PJ Masks birthday party, and that was so much fun. He's trying to read my questions. That was a lot of fun, huh? What did we do on your birthday? Sing happy birthday to me. Yeah. Where did we go for your birthday? On Graders. Your birthday? Yes, we went to Graders and got ice cream. <laughs> and you went to preschool, and they all sang happy birthday to you. You got to wear a crown. That was fun. How old am I? 29. 29, you're so smart. You're right, I am 29. How old is daddy? 30. 30, yep. I think he knows our ages because Anthony just turned 30, I'm turning 30 in like two months, and so those are like big birthdays, and so we've been talking about it a lot, and so that's probably the only reason why he knows our correct ages. How old is Porter? And how old is Avery? She's newborn. Newborn, yeah, she's zero. She hasn't had a birthday yet, huh? What is your favorite color? <laughs> Purple. Purple, ooh, I like that color too. What is your favorite toy? Learning math. Learning math? What's your favorite toy, like in the basement? What's your favorite toy to play with? Alphabet puzzles and number puzzles and shapes puzzles. You like puzzles? Mm hmm. Mm, I thought you were going to say Legos hmm. or magnet tiles. He's really into Legos lately, especially Disney Legos or Spider Man Legos, but also very into magnet tiles. And he'll create the Disney castle with magnet tiles or just houses or what is it? The Hot Wheels garage, the five level Hot Wheels garage he loves to build or different builds like that he likes. What is your favorite book? Never Touch a Dragon. Never Touch a Dragon? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> a while ago it was Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but I guess that has changed. So it's Never Touch a Dragon. What's your favorite thing to watch on the TV? Disney sing along when you were a baby. Disney sing along song. So recently I show Grayson on YouTube this like Disney, we used to have it when I was little, it was like a Disney VHS tape and it was just like Disneyland sing along songs and so I popped it up on the TV the other day for Grayson and Porter to watch and Grayson is obsessed. We watch it at least once a day. He sings the songs all the time. We went to Disney World a couple months ago back in February and he loved Disney World, is obsessed with it, wants to go back, loves all the characters, all that good stuff. So yeah, he, that is definitely his favorite thing to watch. But he also loves to watch just like YouTube videos. I guess that's kind of it, just like YouTube videos. He's not really into like TV shows. He likes PJ Masks. <laughs> Except for when the bad guy starts to win. Then he doesn't want to watch PJ Masks. But other than that, he likes PJ Masks. What is your favorite song? Whistle While You Work. Whistle While You Work, okay. Yeah, that song is on the Disneyland sing-along songs. But he loves any kind of Disney song. He's obsessed with Frozen songs. He likes Moana songs. Um, really any kind of Disney he's obsessed with. But he also likes just like... Songs by the Lori Berkner band, because those are like, they tell you like different motions to do, and so he'll like jump around or like different things like that. He's always singing some kind of song. It's really cute. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to eat? Chicken with beans. 
Chicken with beans? Yeah. All right, chicken with beans. I don't know if that's true. Grayson is, has developed a little bit of a picky eater-like quality. Yeah. He does not like to try new foods. He likes to just eat what he likes. So spaghetti, pizza, Rats. Z bars, peanut butter and jelly. I would say peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are probably his favorite food. He loves breakfast foods, pancakes, French toast, loves apples, loves bananas, any kind of fruit, vegetables, not, not a fan. Doesn't really like any drinks other than milk, flavored water, water, and then he likes this chocolate smoothie from Smoothie King. He loves. He also loves ice cream, especially with sprinkles on top, mostly vanilla, but sometimes he'll branch out and do chocolate chip or chocolate chip cookie dough, but for the most part, he just likes vanilla. What is something you don't like to eat? What is something that's yucky that, you, that mom that you don't want to eat? French fries. You don't like French fries? You love French fries. How about you think of something else? Well, yeah, what don't you like to eat? Macaroni and cheese with cheese on it and with hot dogs in it. You don't like macaroni and cheese with hot dogs in it? Yeah, because that's macaroni and cheese dad's way. Yeah, so we have two different ways we make mac and cheese. My way is just the box with the regular cheese, which the kids love. That's another thing Grayson loves is mac and cheese. But Anthony, my husband, makes mac and cheese with, like, extra cheese. So he'll put, like, shredded cheeses in it from just, like, the store and add cheese to it. And then he'll also put cut up hot dogs in it. <laughs> and my second-born porter loves mac and cheese that way, but Grayson does not. So I guess that's what he's gonna pick for his not liking food. Where is your favorite place to go? Disneyland. Disney, yeah, yeah. We haven't been to Disneyland though, huh? But we've been to Disney World. Is that your favorite place to go? <laughs> he is constantly asking my mom, his grams, to take him back to Disney World because he had so much fun and I've told him that there's Four Disney World parks, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Magic Kingdom. We've only been to Magic Kingdom, and he wants to go and see all of them. And then eventually he wants to go to California and go to Disneyland, but that seems like a lot. But hopefully one day we can take him back to Disney World because he just absolutely loved it and talks about it all the time, even though we went several months ago. I only went for one day. He remembers it so well. What is your favorite animal? Elephant. An elephant. Okay. What makes you sad? Watching bad songs on Alexa. Watching bad songs on the Alexa? Mm hmm. Okay. Usually, when Alexa isn't working or the TV isn't working, that makes him sad. I'm wondering if that's what he means. <laughs> or if the bad guy is winning on a movie or a TV show, that makes him sad as well. <laughs> what makes you happy? Watching good songs on a website. Oh, ha listening to fun songs and good songs? Yeah. What is something you're good at? Building. Building, building what? Magnet tiles. Building magnet tiles. You are really good at that. You're also really good at reading. Grayson is reading full books. And Legos. And building Legos. Yeah. And you're really good at math. Wow. And learning about countries and all about the world and the, wow. and the universe and the planets. What do you want to be when you grow up? A gardener. A gardener. He said this, like, I think he started saying it two years ago, and it's just stuck with him. I'm waiting for him to change it, but as for right now, it is still a gardener. What is your favorite part of the day? Watching Alexa shows. Listening to songs on the Alexa? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We do that a lot in the morning. In the afternoon, in the evening, we listen to lots of songs. Okay, last yeah. question. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. What's your question? 
What do you like to eat? Mmm, I like to eat pizza. Me too! Yeah, pizza's really good. <laughs> So that's the interview with Grayson. Now just talking about Grayson. <laughs> so I don't really have um, stats on him yet. We haven't gone to the pediatrician yet. We're gonna go um, in a couple weeks. Grayson is super affectionate. He loves giving hugs. He loves snuggling. He always asks to snuggle with his dad at night. He loves to tell jokes. Grayson has recently got into jokes and telling jokes. He does not understand most of the punchlines of the jokes that we tell him, but he knows that you're supposed to laugh and so he does, even though he might not understand it. His favorite kind of jokes are Mario jokes. And recently, Grayson has really gotten into Mario. He went and saw the Mario movie with his dad and some of his aunts and uncles for his birthday a couple weeks ago and loved it. Loves Mario, likes to watch um, videos of Mario on his iPad and also videos of Minecraft. He's really into learning about Minecraft. Haven't actually played Mario or Minecraft yet. I think he would just get too frustrated with it right now. He gets very easily frustrated when he can't do something right. He's a little bit of a perfectionist, does not like to get answers wrong, does not like to be wrong. Um, his teacher has told me like they go wash their hands at school and you're only supposed to get one pump of soap. And so he does that. But some of the other kids might do two pumps or three pumps and Grayson gets very frustrated when people are not following the rules. So he's a very typical firstborn following the rules, very bossy, likes to boss his brother Porter around all the time. As soon as Avery gets big enough, I'm sure he'll be bossing her around too. But that's very like how I was at a kid, as a kid. I was the oldest of six kids and so I bossed all my siblings around my whole childhood. So not surprised to see that out of Grayson. Like I said, Grayson is very academically smart. He's reading when most of the kids in his class are just now learning like sight words. We went to uh, kindergarten info night because he's going to start kindergarten in August. And they said that they want the kids at the start of kindergarten to know letters and letter sounds, which he's way above. We actually had him tested not too long ago by an evaluator just to see like where he was academically. And they said uh, socially and emotionally he's on par for his age, but intellectually he's actually testing at a first grade level. He is very, very smart. I think sometimes his smartness kind of gets the better of him and he gets a little bored at school or um, just gets a little frustrated when his friends aren't reading full books like he is. But we are so proud of him and I don't know where his smartness comes from. I mean, Anthony and I both have college degrees, so I guess there's a little bit of that in there, but he is just, he's honestly has taught himself to read. I mean, I've worked with him with letters and things like that, but not sight words or anything like that. So I'm not exactly sure where he learned like this reading, but he just, he loves to read. His favorite book right now, I would say is Your Place in the Universe. He reads that all the time and it's all about the universe and the galaxy and all the planets and all that. Another one of Grayson's favorite toys that he didn't mention is his globe. He got a globe for his birthday from my parents and it's a leapfrog one. It's actually pretty expensive, but it's actually really cool. And so it ha comes with a little stylus. He can touch different parts on the globe and they tell him about countries. And then they have like little mini games he can play where they like learn about different uh, statues or different world wonders or different things like that. And he loves to play with that globe. He plays with it for hours on end. Like I said, he's a very picky eater. Definitely has things he likes and does not like. He does not like to try new foods. But although he doesn't like to try new foods, he is my outgoing one. We go to a new place, a new situation, and he is right in there, running around, meeting new people, <laughs> saying hi to strangers, is not shy at all, which I love that about him because I was more of a shy person myself, and so I love that he's just outgoing and likes to try new things and get in new situations. 
He loves going to play places, um, Chuck E. Cheese he loves. There's a place called Mommyland in our city where there's just like an indoor play place that he loves. Loves going to the park, going down the slide. He likes to hang on bars and see how long he can do it. He does that with his dad. Grayson loves to give hugs, although he's not much of like a too much of a snuggler. He will snuggle his dad at night, um, I think to like stave off going to bed. But uh, other than that, he's usually more on his own, kind of independent. He's never been one of, oh, I don't want you to leave me. I'm so sad to go to school. Like he's always running into school. He loves preschool, loves his teacher. He's learning so many things. Not the best at coloring or being patient with that artwork. Not really his thing. But then again, I'm not really much of an artist myself. Grayson is very sensitive. He's become a lot more sensitive lately. Like I said, he doesn't like to see bad guys winning on movies or TV shows. Hang on, I gotta get Avery. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get Avery. <laughs> so this is gonna probably end soon because she's gonna wanna eat. He's very sensitive. Um, he does not like when people get things wrong. Okay, we're just gonna have to go. So, sorry, I'm gonna have to cut this um, video short. I might come back and add a little more to it. Might not, but say bye, Gray. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching Grayson's five-year-old update. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Bye. bye.